Oh, yes. Oh, I see. Good news, everyone. What's up guys, Sal here. So the Galaxy M series is Samsung's answer to the low cost but high spec Chinese phones from the likes of Xiaomi, Huawei and more. Samsung launched the handset exclusively in India and it got a very positive reaction from Indian fans. A lot of Samsung fans around the world were expecting Samsung to launch these handsets in their countries as well as it offers great value for money. Now it looks like Samsung is listening to their fans and is gearing up to launch this handset in more countries. The Galaxy M20 has also launched in Indonesia a few days ago and now according to the firmware database obtained from Sam Mobile, Samsung is also launching the M20 in Europe. Right now the European countries confirmed to get this device are Germany, Spain and Italy. But I'm positive more countries will be added to this list. This handset only costs $150 in India, but I'm not sure if the same price tag will be carried over to Europe since Samsung isn't facing crazy competition there compared to markets like India. To know more about the device, I would suggest you watch my top 5 features video. The link you can find in the description box below. Samsung has quietly launched a new tablet which is the thinnest and lightest tablet they've ever made. It's called Samsung Galaxy Tab S5e. He suggests it's a mid-range tablet which costs $399. For the kind of specs that it packs, it's a very thin tablet measuring at only 5.5 millimeters. As you can see, the bezels have been narrowed quite a lot compared to the Tab S4. The screen is a full HD plus and measures at 10.5 inches. They managed to crank in a 7040 mAh battery in such a slim body. There's no iris scanner, no surprises here since the Galaxy S10 won't have it either. The fingerprint scanner is in the power button, there's a Snapdragon 670 processor, 4 and 6 gigs of RAM, 64 and 128 GB of storage. It also has 4 speakers tuned by AKG and with Dolby Atmos surround sound. The sound output can adapt to how you're holding the tablet. That being said, I'm sure there will be a higher end variant of this tablet. The E suggests that Samsung will launch the Galaxy Tab S5 and S5 Plus later on similar to the Galaxy S10. By the way, it will be interesting to see how this device holds up in Jerry Riggs' bent test if he decides to do it of course. He broke the iPad Pro in half with ease. It wasn't just because of its thinness but also due to its bad structural integrity. So yeah, looking forward to the bent test. I don't think it would survive for obvious reasons but what I'm interested in is to find out whether it has better structural integrity than the iPad Pro. <laughs> and just look how happy he is. 